they worked me pretty good tonight, trying to shed a few pounds. Don't worry, your Pratt Pack will, but they had me out in the sunshine talking to Athletic Director Joe Yoshida for an hour, waiting for this guy to show up. He was taking care of some personal business. So he and I were talking about the journey. He's still the AD here. Guys, you know, in that seventh decade, just an amazing individual. You were around that team, his, the Whitfield team, offense coordinator. But the thing I love about your team, nobody really has a title. I've never heard of that before. I mean, I think that's very unselfish. I think it's a great attitude. It's that team effort. But why that concept, Coach? Because no, we just, everybody just does their job. And we've been around so long together that, you know, everybody just, you know, does their part. And, uh, you know, we, we're just used to each other. You know, to have the fluidity and the consistency in the coaching staff has, real, has been a real asset to our success. It works. Listen, Elwood City, I don't know how to explain this, but there's something really special about those Wolverines in that community. Close to the community, very ethnic oriented community. If you're an Italian, even though I'm a little, that's why I like it a lot. A lot of my familia lives up there and I do a lot of work up there. That's a nice little rivalry for you guys, but it's another opportunity for you to continue to oil this well-oiled machine, this offense. It's always good to be able to take the next step each and every week as you plow through the season. Sure. I mean, when you go to Elwood City, you know, you're going to a place that, you know, what a great stadium, the right. Ewing Park, Elling Stadium. Got some great football played there. We've had some tremendous games. Joe Lemenza's has taken over the program. You know, they've had it tough the last couple of years with some coaching switches, but he's an Elwood guy. You know, he, he takes pride in what he's doing. You know, he's, a, he's an experienced coach, so, you know, he's going to have his team prepared, and, and we have to be as well. KDK Radio, Dan Tank, really Robert Mangino. We continue with Friday Night Lights this week. It's a good one. Terry Totten and Central Catholic. And the guy who's been a friend of mine forever, Art Walker Jr., now at NA, who really put Central Catholic on the map years ago. They've got some numbers there. Here's my question to you. You know, we'll save it for the next. It has to do with numbers. We're going to do that with Joe Greco next.